How's everybody doing today? Alfred Flor, CEO, President of New Age Electric. So, in this video, we're going to talk about editing the default job. And what this is important is if you want to create a default job for your team members, say you got 10 estimators and you want everybody to be using the exact format the way the file is done and that's because it might have labor rates a set percentage what whatever the case may be um, you want everybody to do it and especially when the year comes around and you got to do um, escalation and stuff like that and you got to change your labor rates or you got to do it mid-quarter because insurance changes so we got to make sure our labor rate has changed or whatnot for new bids um, you need to change it for everybody. Now, if you're in a company where every folder, I'm sorry, in each individual has its own folder and has its own default, then there is no global, like uh, like Change Order Pro, there's like a global default where you can change it all. But if you want to make like a global default where everybody gets assigned to one default folder for new change, uh, for a new bid, then that's probably the way to go. But in this case, we're just gonna talk about just the default only. So let's jump into it. Uh, if you go on settings, drop it down to defaults, you're gonna see an edit default job. So when you click this open, it's gonna open up a default job that's not shown in your um, schedule. You know, there is no default job that you can see. Now you might probably want to ask yourself, where is this at? Well, this is located in your C drive, program data, Acubit, job data. If you have a server, it should be something similar to this. It should be under job data. All right, we'll jump into certain things that you might um, serve as being useful. So let's say notes, you know, as the head estimator, you're putting things like, you know, verify fixture quotes. And then, you know, same thing over and over. Verify teledata quotes. AV quotes and we'll say fire alarm. fire alarm and then that way you know you're telling your guys to review your stuff I mean they should know but as a header chief estimator this is a good thing to use um, other excellent way to use this is your direct labor because you're gonna have different rates for different guys, um, how you wanna see things, you know, your crew size, your hours, your rates. Um, this is gonna be getting updated probably numerous times throughout the year, depending on how your owner wants to do it. So, you know, this could be our bidding rate is for a foreman, it could be like 115, GF could probably be 119. You know, 10, 109, you know, apprentice, I don't know, 21st year, 25 bucks. And like I said, if you do this as a default, you can always come back in here, make sure everybody's out of the, the default folder, first, first and foremost thing to do. And then when that time comes around, you change all your rates so like us in Chicagoland we're 134 but we have surrounding areas that we might work in uh, like 701 uh, 176 and they all have different rates they're they're all different to the to the fact that they get an hourly rate might be might be lower might be higher 
and the fringes might be lower than the other one it might be higher than the other one so you got to diff do different things especially if you're traveling and stuff you want to make sure there's stuff buried in there for a service truck I, I don't know whatever the case may be um so you save that and then that way when you start up a new folder i'm sorry i start up a new bid everything is in there already all this is set to go there's no altering it unless the guy alters it himself um, final pricing let's say your company does they don't do no overhead and everything is marked up database material quota material markup and you know that's just say they bid everything 10% markup for database 5% that and 10% uh, labor and subs you know will come into your subs and you know you can change this if you wanted to change that or this will override these over here which is 10% overall anyway and then that way this is now set as a default or you know you can call it like the master default so this is a uh, pretty oh I'm sorry and also you you don't have to I'm gonna go back into the extension like you know this is how this is laid out another way to do it too is you can change your screen layouts to modify this but I already showed you in previous videos you can change these right here and uh, manipulate the um, uh, the layout there is another way to settings uh, options and I've I personally never done this because it's really there's really no point to be honest you can click one of these report style startup blah 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 essentially you're just grabbing these styles from another job and you're just pointing to it and then it just grabs it and then when it starts up it's just grabbing it but I I, I don't I, I can't right now I can't see the purpose of doing this but if you set it up here and hit save you're gonna give each of your um, estimators this option already so you know you could do bid breakdown demo this is stuff that I make up and it's saved in the default style as the different screen styles that you can use that's another thing you can do like even if um, let's say as the chief or head estimator I want to see every single thing but this one thing I could create up a, uh, a new uh, screen style and just when I do reviews I just select this drop down and let's just say I'm gonna say test report style and it sees everything that I want to see only everything else is um, basically irrelevant to me that's a, another uh, good way of using it all right so let's we're gonna end it here and we'll leave I'm gonna leave you guys with one last um, comment if you're gonna do a global we're gonna call it a global default where everybody is being defaulted to this exact uh, file itself or if you want to change it um, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna have to do a like a um, set uh, set as default and what it essentially does is it's the main default file so it, you, you basically everybody who starts up a new bid it's gonna globally grab that as a startup now that has to be pointed to wherever it is here on let's say if you got a server because most people are gonna have a server you're gonna need to save and you can call it whatever you want a global default so if you set as default you can go and pick it 
and hit save and then that'll hit it as a global default but you're gonna want to do it on a server um, and I keep saying server because if there's multiple workstations going somewhere it's gonna be everybody's gonna be probably going to one um, local uh, stored hard drive on the server and that's where you're gonna want to go you're gonna want to put this there um, if you're working outside of the work um, of the intra uh, intranet intranet then you're gonna have to configure it where that Acubit can get access to that outside of the internet. Um, I hope this helps. This is a default job review. And um, if you guys have any questions and need help, drop a comment. Once again, this is Alfred Flores, CEO, President of New Age Electric. If you haven't clicked subscribe, please do so. I'll see you again. Thanks for watching.